you. As Dr. Ellis said, my name is Angela Dinger, and I am the general counsel of William H. Sadlier, which is an educational publishing company. We're celebrating our 185th anniversary this year, so we've been around for a while and working very closely with Catholic education. And one of the things that I do outside of my work at Sadlier is I volunteer and I serve as the vice chair of the board of directors for the National Catholic Educational Association. Um, and that is what brings me here today to be with you. Um, I just want to point out that one of my colleagues at Sadlier, uh, who is our chief financial officer, he's a proud alumnus of your school, um, so he sends his greetings to all of you. Um, so today it is my pleasure to present the National Catholic Educational Association on this momentous occasion as we celebrate and honor the work and services of one of your fellow students. One year ago, the NCEA Board of Directors approved a plan to find and recognize those young people in our Catholic elementary and secondary schools who through their faith, service, and vision were changing their local communities and indeed the world around them through innovation, acts of charity, philanthropy, and good old American ingenuity. There are two million young men and women just like you who attend Catholic schools in 176 dioceses throughout the nation. In total, you were taught by over 151,000 extraordinary teachers and support staff. We know that 99% of you and all Catholic school students will graduate from high school and 95 to 100% will go on to college. And I know you, you guys are no exception to that. Um, so we're therefore really prepared to be really impressed by all of your work and projects. However, what we discovered has awed and inspired us far beyond our wildest expectations. Over 150 young people in our Catholic schools throughout the country were nominated by their teachers, counselors, principals, coaches, mentors, and pastors. They were nominated for their projects and programs that impacted the lives and fortunes of people, both young and old. Out of more than 150 applicants, only 10 young men and women were selected as the recipients of the 2017 National Catholic Educational Association's Youth Virtue Scholar and Vision Award. Today, I am here as a representative of the NCEA to present one of those 10 medals to a student in your school. And I'll point out that those 10 were selected from K through 12. Um, and so the young person we're gathered to honor today is without a doubt someone who through his work, vision, effort, and sacrifice is a servant leader who can and will change the world for the better. Our winner, James Bledsoe, has been praised by his peers as a compassionate, socially active, and hardworking young man who's enthusiastic and always willing to help others. He's grown 